So welcome back aliens and once we have talked about how to use class and how to create an object, let's try to understand what this var and val means. So when you say var, it means you are creating a variable. Now if you remember in Java, we use a keyword called as final, right? So instead of using final in, in Kotlin, we can actually use val. So when you say val, it means you cannot change the value of it. So instead of changing this here, Let's go for the variable first. Now, if you remember, inside our alien class, we do have a variable, right? Now, what if, if I make it as a val? Now, what happens, you know, once you assign the value to val, so which, are, which we are doing here, as you can see, I have assigned the value for val as double quotes. And if I'm trying to change the value here, it says val cannot be reassigned. That means once you assign the value for val, you cannot change it. So that means if I remove this from here, it is asking you for default values. So you should use the val keyword when you want to create a constant. So when you want, when you know that you are creating a constant, then you should go for val. Example, uh, when we create a pi, when we use a pi value, when you have a constant rate where using which you want to change something. So always go for constant or always go for val. So it doesn't make any sense to create a val variable, something like this. So in case of variables of a class, you can use var, which is create, you're creating a variable. But what about this object? Can you make this one as val? Uh, let's try. So as you can see, if I, if I make this val, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Everything will work will fine. Everything will work fine. But what if after some time, if I create this object once again, which means if I say, again, if I say t2 and equal to, and if I, maybe if I want to, create that object once again. So when I say alien, and if I give a round bracket, now this is a new object, right? And the moment I do that, it is giving me an error. The reason? It is val. So for val, when you once you assign the value, you cannot change it. So if I go back to var, there will not be any issue. Yeah, it's just that if I, if I try to print the value once again, after creating a new object, uh, just to prove my point that it is creating a new object, what I will do is I will just print this once again after the object creation. Now this time we don't have a value for name, right? Let's run this code. Let's see what happens. So if I run this code once again, it is running. It is. It will take some time. As you can see, we got the output. And the output this time is name is blank because this is a new object and new object will have a default value and the default value here is, is blank. I mean, it's empty, right? So that's how you can use val and var in, in Kotlin.